thought about speed and endurance. I bet your 400 meters guy, no. The first question is always, what do you do for your 400 guys? I'm like, they're my sprinters. No, but what do you do for the guys that need speed and endurance? That need those tempo runs? I'm like, we don't do tempo runs. And I'd never say the word endurance ever around my athletes, ever. I truly believe that the faster your top end speed, the faster your sub max speed. And you cannot run at a speed that you've never attained before. So you, you've got to run really fast in practice. I believe speed reserve is the most important thing for all sports. If I coach basketball players, volleyball players, football players, lacrosse players, we would work on max speed. Do basketball players ever run max speed? In a game? Never. They're never out of third gear. But if their max speed is really, really good, their third gear is very controlled. I believe the game slows down to people who are fast. I know nobody can run 100 miles an hour. This is just a metaphor. Yeah, it's a story. But I really believe if my guys can run 100 miles an hour, when they're running 80 miles an hour in the 400, they're going to feel okay. Whereas you, not your guys, but you know, like the dumb guys, the dumb guys that overwork their, guy, their people, they never run over 60 miles an hour. They're trying to run 80 like my guys. And that's hard. That's the way I was trained. I, I was trained at 60 and tried to run 80. So, so my four by fours, this isn't bragging. It's just, I mean, in 20 years of Feed the Cats, I've had 10 All-State 4x4s. 22 different guys, sub-50 split in the 4x4. This, this group right here, uh, Class A is like a, Harrisburg was like an Appalachia type of school, coal mining town, uh, Appalachia type of town. Um, uh, somehow we got these very generic looking guys to run 318 in the 4x4. And they never ran more than 200 meters in practice. And they, they, we just tried to get really, really fast. And by the way, cats are extremely competitive. Extremely competitive. This guy I did not coach, but my, but my ideas coached him. He was coached by a young throws coach. This is Kamari Montgomery. And this guy took my guidance, so I was kind of like the consultant. And he ran at the state meet of senior year, 1050, 2096, 46, 24. That's really good in Illinois. And his hardest workout was a 200 meters, 45 seconds rest, 200 meters, both of them at 23, eight minute break, redo it. And it sucks. I've not done that workout for the last three years because it is so damn hard. And then last year he, he won the national championship. And Carl Lewis taking credit for that 44-58. But you know what? If a guy runs a 46 low in high school, three or four years later, he might run a 40. 4.58. So that's why I don't base anything I do off of what college people do. This is my guy. His hardest workout last year, 150, 150, 150, all in a 10 minute period. His last one was sub 16. I think he ran like 16.2, 16.1. By the way, we call this uh, our 4x4 predictor. We add the three times together and that's what they can run in the 400, in the 4x4. Four four. So if, if he can go 16, 16, 16, I'll do the math, that's 48. That's what he can run. This year, we're gonna to try to get him a 15, 5, 15, 5, 15, 5. That's a 46, 5. Try that sometimes. By the, that, those are run-in starts, fly starts, spiked up with the wind. Three minutes rest. He puked after every lactate workout he did last year. Every single one. He won every workout for us. And his times, 1031, 2088, he only ran the 400 four times last year. But we needed it to win the conference, and so he said, yeah, I'll do it, coach. And he's 15, he's 5'6", had braces. This year he'll run 46-something. And he will probably graduate to the harder, to that broken 200 workout. I mean, it's just so hard on kids. But, 
Don't you need endurance? Okay, I can't help but tell this story. I went to Franklin, Tennessee. I had eight guys returning from the track team before I got there. And we ended the season with 54, so I did a good job. And I asked John Hewitt, who was really, uh, he was the best runner from the year before. As a sophomore, he'd run a 51, fl uh, 51 flat, 4x4 four four split. 51 flat. And I said, what's your 100 meter time? Never ran it. What's your 200 time? Never ran it. I said, well, you're going to have a different type of year next year. Because we're going to turn you into a sprinter. And so we did all the feed the cat stuff. Feed the f I mean, he, he said, coach, I'm not in shape to run the 400. Yes, you are. On April 13th at Vanderbilt University right here, he runs 47.99 as a junior. 5'7", looks like a wrestler. They started calling him White Lightning. And he thought he was going to be state champ, but there was a guy that ran like 46 mid from Knoxville. And John went out and really went after him hard. And and competed and was right on his shoulder and then he faded late. He faded late and the worst thing happened to him. He got passed by one more guy when he faded. The parents did not speak to me on the way out of the meet. I knew I was in trouble. Sure enough, before the next season, the, the dad who was a major booster and all that stuff pulls me out of the room and says, John's going to be trained by his AAU coach this season. And I'm a kid's guy, so I said, that's fine. I, I would rather him be trained after our practice. I don't want him doing his 200 repeats in front of my cats, all right? And that year, at the end of the season, he said, Coach, I only want to run on the relays because I'm a team guy. And because he did not break 51 that year. So that's what I got to say about endurance. Endurance comes at the expense of speed. Every time. Per periodization. This is a quick one. We do, all we do is alactic work all year. Less than six seconds. Anything more than, anything more than five seconds is working on something other than speed. So we, that doesn't sound like, but you can really be fast in five seconds. You can be in, at top speed in five seconds. We do train some lactate in season. That means like 15 second runs, 20 second runs. We get dizzy and throw up. But we don't ever do an aerobic focused workout. My sprinters breathe all day long. They breathe when they sleep. So I guess they're aerobic engines as well. But we do not ever focus on anything aerobic because it detracts from the nervous system and it detracts from, from mechanics and it's just no good for them. It's terrible. So in the summer, fall, winter, max speed, max speed, then it gets complicated in season because you got to do longer sprinting. You got to do some lactate work, guys get all beat up, and you got to rest, rest, rest. Rest is the most important thing all season. So that's my complicated periodization thing. These four guys were all football players. The third guy over uh, has scored four touchdowns for the Redskins this year. Uh, I, I never encourage summer track. I encourage my guys to do football in the summer and football in the fall and, and then we're max speed all winter and then it gets complicated during the season. Sophisticated complexity. I see this at clinics all the time. It drives me crazy. Big words, crazy graphs. Uh, this guy, I'm sure knows what he's talking about, but he has too much time on his hands. Simplicity is brilliance. We sprint two or three times a week with lots of rest. It's not that hard. We have three types of practice in season. Uh, out of season, we have two. In the off season, we sprint and we X factor. In season, we sprint, X factor, and we have, I think we did seven lactate workouts last year. Plus we consider the meats lactate workouts as well, like 18 meats. That's in a 19 week period, seven total lactate workouts. This is a typical 19 week plan for us where, first of all, the reds are the hard days. The red is lactate or meats. Note that after every red square, there is a green square with the exception of one. 
green squares or they go home after school. There's no practice. We don't come in and do foam rollers. I mean, they just go home. 40% of our 19 weeks, 40% is go home after school and rest. After any meet, if we have a Monday meet, we have a sprinter's holiday the next day. People say, well, what do the distance guys say about that, coach? Well, one guy asked one time, say, coach, how come the distance guys have to practice? I said, because, because you're not fast enough to take a day off. If you were fast, you could have a day off. You just run, we sprint. Nobody's asked since then. Uh, all the yellow days are sprint days or X-Factor days. I will be talking about that tomorrow in my uh, hands-on thing outside. But all the yellow days are days that will never affect the next day. Probably a 40 minute practice with absolutely no carryover that affects the next day. The red days, 48 hour hangover. Red days are hell. Tony, if you got jumpers, when, when do they get that working? The, the jumpers jump anytime they want. You know, we, we try to go long jump one day a week, triple jump one day a week, uh, high jump one day a week. My jumps coach is a believer like me that, that uh, uh, if you remember back when basketball players came out for track, remember that? Like, it was like 30 years ago. They, they would come out, they were great high jumpers, and they would PR in the first meet and then suck the rest of the year because they high jumped and high jumped and high jumped. So we jump as little as possible. Anytime we have a speed day, my jumps coach could say, hey, uh, uh, I'm going to take the jumpers. I, do you, I, I said, do you, want them, do you want them right away? Do you want them after we do speed drills? Do you want to do... And sometimes he'll say, no, we're not doing anything intense. Go ahead and have them do all, all the speed stuff. We'll just work with them after that. Other times he'll say, I want them at the start. Because I truly believe that practice is totally overrated. I did not get struck down by lightning by saying that, but practice is overrated. Sleep and rest, underrated. But I really believe that most athletes respond better to, by going home after school than going through a typical track workout.